Hello, YouTuber guys. Thank you for watching another one of my awesome videos, maybe. Today, I want to talk about Aruba. I have been using two Aruba for about two years now, and I really, really like it. Um, I've come from Unify to Aruba, and uh, I can't speak enough about it. Um, I'm going to have to say the guys at Crosstalk Solutions showed this maybe two years ago, year and a half. No, I'm going to say two years ago. And uh, I saw it. I went, hey, I want to try that. So I bought one. And then uh, the company I worked for, I said, hey, can we try these? And I bought one. I got it at cost. So uh, I played with it and I showed what it could do. And then from there on, I just grew more. So in my personal home, I have the AP12, which is mounted in the middle of my house that covers my whole house. I have my switch that I took out of my uh, home network to put into a new controller to show you guys how to do that, second video. And then in my rack over there, I have the 24 port PoE switch that I did another video on my other YouTube channel of taking the fans out and making it really quiet because when you get them stock right from the factory, they are kind of, they're not, stupid loud they're like not like uh, data center loud but they're enough to mm, drive you nuts because you're in the same room which is me like right now you can't hear anything and it's in the rack like right behind me not not the one on the floor there but the one around the corner there's a rack on the wall there where all my networking stuff is so that video just got lots and lots and lots i got emails left right and center about that so i've just been really liking the ruba stuff and they do good the one thing i like about the ruba switches is their lifetime warranty. Whereas Unify, they're only one year warranty. Uh, and I I just, the, the Rubas, the 24 port non-POE and POE version have four 10 gig SFP um, ports. And you can use these uh, generic um, SFP to RJ45 adapters and they work fine. And in the video that I'm gonna do, probably stage two or um, video two, I'm going to show how we're going to adopt the access point and the switch and I'm going to connect it with this and I'm going to use Untangle and show you guys how to do all the VLANs and set up the networks and stuff like that. But the first thing we have to do is set up a portal. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's pretty easy to do. I'm also going to um, put the 2FA on it too because you got a portal, you got a username, it uses an email address. Mm, no, you don't really want anybody gaining access to that. I mean, the worst case scenario, somebody gets into your account, changes your passwords and changes all your network thing that you spent time setting up and um, programming and stuff of like that. And so worst case scenario, they do that. They can't really do anything really other than that unless they knew where you lived and had your password and gone into your SSID. But the worst case scenario, you don't want somebody getting in there to do that. So today's video, we're going to log into the portal, create an account. I'm going to create it with my Jason's lab email address and then We'll grab my phone, which is over here. Hold on. And then we'll scan the QR code and make it so it has 2FA access. One of the first things I do for anything that has 2FA access on any accounts that go on the internet. So let's jump in and uh, create an account. And hopefully it works with my uh, email address. Um, in the beginning, about two years ago, they didn't like certain email addresses, and never got their notifications. I'm sure they fixed that, but let's try this. So. On the corner here, we'll see that we have to sign up. So we'll click sign up. We're gonna use Jason's lab and I'll put in a password. Oh, gotta type it in there. And I'll select these two, cause hey, if HP wants to contact me and say, hey, good job in the videos, we're gonna send you something. Oh, I would like that. Because these right here, I bought these with my own money. This switch right here is 300 and something dollars Canadian. This access point is $200 uh, Canadian, $230, maybe $250, maybe a little bit more. Don't know. And I bought that just for my lab. Plus the switch over there, that was five or $600 that I bought because I really liked it. So let's create the account. Let's push create. Uh, your account has now been created. We want to push no to that. And we want to see if we get an e email from Aruba to say, hey, welcome. 
close this. If you didn't receive an email, check your spam folder. I don't have spam folder, but let's check. It worked, woohoo, they fixed it. Okay, so we have a confirm button. We'll click that. We'll now log in. Hello. Wrong browser. Continue. We'll log back in. Bitwarden, you're pissing me off. So we're gonna set up a new site. What are we gonna do? We're gonna click continue. We're gonna go uh, access point and switch. Hopefully we can get around this because I don't wanna plug anything in right now. Uh, your instant on device will be part of the network behind your existing gateway firewall. Yep. We should make sure we're on the right uh, network here. Hold on, hold on. Let's get out of this. Before I go too far, because we're on a network that's already got stuff, let's turn that off. Grab my backpack. Don't want to be on the wrong network. We got to grab our $60 dongle because the laptop takes a dongle. It doesn't take an Ethernet jack on the side. We'll take our trusty yellow cable going from our lab setup. Put it around here so I don't roll over my nice brand new cable that I bought. wait till we get connected sorry about that totally forgot that I'm on my home network okay so now we should try this again set up a new site continue we're just gonna say yes to access point continue uh, part of the which way Yes. Plug it in. Can we click uh, cancel? I'm going to go continue, see if it complains. Uh, cancel setup. Oh, you mean I can't plug this in without adding something? That is lame. Okay. We'll just do a switch then. That means I have to plug my laptop into the switch. I didn't want to do this yet. But since it's forcing me to, we'll use a SFP to RJ45 and we'll throw it into port number 10. Yeah. And then I guess I'll have to get power. And I don't know if I have a power cord close by, so we'll steal it from this monitor. Hopefully my microphone will reach. All right, we've got it plugged in. Now we gotta wait, unplug the network again. Definitely wasn't waiting, ready for that. Guess we'll have to grab another cable from my Just to bring it over here. Wow, didn't think I'd have to do that, but oh well. It's silent too, just forgot to tell you guys that. This switch is dead silent. It's like the, um, what do you call them? The USW8 or the Edge Switch 8s. Those things get hot. We now have access, it's talking. We have internet, so now we can proceed. We're gonna push continue. We've got the device plugged in. Let's actually go cancel and make sure that we've clicked switch. So we'll go continue, switch, just to make sure. Continue, continue, yep. We've got it plugged in. Enter the serial number. Well, that's a pain in my butt. Probably for security, so we just can't add anybody's stuff. TW.
There it is. It just took some time to go. Okay, so we found them. We're going to go add the device. Let's call it Jason's Lab. And we'll go continue. I already found that we're in Canada. And we'll go activate the site. Continue. So we got one device on here, but let's go to the next step. Let's go at this and go account management. We want to go two-factor authentication, of course. So let's go here and go, let's add our password for validation. Now what we need to do is we open up our phone and scan the QR code with our thumb. And I use another app, we'll call this here. We'll go add an account, scan our QR code. There we go, save. Now we have a code. So we gotta put that in here. 603, validate. Uh, okay. go complete the setup and we're good to go just as easy as that so I guess that went awry there because I totally forgot that I had to add a device to this but now the next step we will do on the next video is add this to it and then what we'll do is we'll do VLANs on the untangle box so right now uh, the entangle should be 192.168.8.1. And is it there? Yes, it's there. So the next video will be us showing you how to add the AP, just doing exactly how we did there, and then um, doing our wireless networks with VLANs and setting that up and doing probably a couple of the um, rules to do IoT and camera networks and a guest network. So that will come up and uh, we'll go from there. So pretty simple, pretty easy to do, not really anything complicated to get this working. And as you can tell, let's pull this cable out and unlock me off the internet. It's just a generic SFP. And a lot of guys say, oh, the HP stuff is really picky. It's not, it's not, it just plugs in and works. I never really have any Never had any issues. Um, I'm going to see if I could talk to 10 for optics, see if he'll send me a cable to show you guys um, how compatible his devices are in the next video and um, go from there. So I'm going to end the video here and then I'm going to prep for um, video two that's going to come up in a couple days here. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll go from there. Have a good day.